women are demanding that men going their own way be silenced. So there's a lot of fury happening right now, guys. And as you can see on this platform, on TikTok, on various other platforms, you cannot even say the acronym anymore. We can only say things like MGTOW. You can't even use it in the title of your video. Some of you are like, oh, there are people still using it. Yeah. And when they do that, in most cases, the video is no longer able to make money on the platform. And, if, and the content creator may no longer even be able to make money. This is, but in many cases, it's outright banned. If we go over to TikTok, this is something absolutely shocking. You can see that it's typed in. And if basically, if you search for it on the platform, if you search for it on TikTok, MGTOW, you get nothing. If you search for men going their own way on TikTok, you get nothing. If you search for feminism, you'll get a multitude of responses, of results. So check that out. If you search for M2, you will get tons of responses, tons of results. However, again, if you try searching for MGTOW, you will get no responses. If you try searching for N men going their own way, you will get no responses. So as you can see, it has been blocked from the platform. And this is what's happening in society right now. They want to silence it. They don't want men walking away. Even men just dis discussing walking away. MWA is not MGTOW. It's men walking away from the things that don't work for them. They're walking away from toxic relationships, toxic environments, people, things that do not work for them. And they're walking towards the things that do work for them. Okay. So a lot of these men are men who do want to get married, do want to have children. Or some of these men don't want to get married, but they may want to have children. So they go overseas or they find a good woman in, in society, in Western society, if they're able to, and they will walk away with her. They're walking away from the things they just don't like, but they are not in by any means trying to separate themselves. There are some men who've decided that they just want to be lifelong bachelors, which is a normal and natural thing. And they're not, and they're just choosing to remain bachelors, to remain single for the course of their lives. If they decide that they're going to change it at some point, if something changes in their lives, then they'll go and they may find someone to start a family with. So it's not separatism. It's nothing like that. It's just men figuring out what works best for them, even, and, you know, not being afraid to walk away from anything that includes a, a relationship that includes one's own children. If you're in a, if you have children that you're no longer ever able to provide for, or, you know, your relationship with them has become so toxic that it's best for you to leave. The best thing that you can do as a man is to simply walk away you know, obviously you'll have to, you'll be held to your obligations by the state. You'll end up paying child support and so forth. But that's basically it. As long as you, as long as you are held to your obligations by the state, as long as you, you know, don't piss off the state, then there's really nothing else that anyone can do. You know, women can shame you. Society can try to blame you. But at the end of the day, as long as the state gets its money, that's all it cares about. The only thing the state cares about is getting its money. As long as you do not come into the crosshairs of the state, it does not matter what you say or do. The state does not care. All they want is their money. As long as you stay on the good, on, as, as long as you stay on the good side of the state's roar or whatever air, you know, and stay out of their crosshairs, then you know it does not really matter what anyone says. Because if you look at how women are reacting and behaving, they're using shaming language and directing it that towards anyone who walks away and and anyone and and obviously men going their own way. There was a comment on one of my videos and this comment came from Karina. It was on my, it's a Karina 1988. So that is more than likely her, you know, her, the year she was born in. And she basically says, this was on the video, broke girls are trying to ban men going their own way. So MGTOW. And obviously a lot of these women are very upset with what's going on. So 1988, that would make her 36 years old or go, are turning 36 in 2024. So she is staring down 40 right now. And notice what she says in full caps, because when you put something in full caps, it means that the person is screaming. So she is screaming at me across the internet, dude, go your way. Please just go. In this modern world, no woman is going is going to chase you. For God's sake, please go. Do you see the anger? Do you see how vicious this was? 
They are absolutely furious because men are walking away or going their own way, walking away from the things that don't work for them and and walking towards the things that do, walking away from toxic relationships, toxic environments, toxic people, toxic things. They don't like that. They absolutely don't like that because they know that they are part of this group. They have nothing to offer. They take everything. They say that men are supposed to be givers, not receivers. It's about being, it's about giving more than you receive. It's about serving your society, serving your country, serving the women around you. It's not about what you can do for yourself. It's about what you can do for women and society. And this is the reality that men are being, this is the stuff that men are being spoon fed. Okay. It's basically like you're paying, you're paying to be an indentured servant. How insane is this? You are paying to work for someone else. You, you know, blood, sweat, and tears, laboring away to work for someone else, to work for women, to work for the state, to work for people who don't actually like you. And as soon as they no longer need you, they will just get rid of you. And then look at the comments that you're getting when you walk away. One of the more important things I've pointed out related to MWA, you know, and related to walking away is the fact that, and just men in general, men, you know, men don't hit the wall. They just climb over it or they walk around it. Because as a man, you are constantly working on yourself and having to develop yourself throughout your entire life. Women are born rich, but leave the world poor. And men are born poor, but leave the world rich because women are born with a perception of value linked to their fertility and youthfulness, and their ability to have children and form a family. However, men, on the other hand, have to create all of their value over the course of their lives. As a, man get, as a woman gets older, beyond her 20s, you know, her fertility begins to decline as her youthfulness declines. So her perception, so her perceived value also declines, and her ability to have out resources given to her for simply existing begins to dissipate on the other hand because a man has to contri con because a man has to create value over the course of his life to survive thrive and even being able to attract a woman the result ultimately means that you are gaining knowledge you're gaining experience and you're going to put that knowledge and experience to the test over the course of your life to build value so by the time a man is an adult he has created He's learned so much and he's had to go through so much in life that he knows how to create value and he knows how to save and he knows how to live below his means. Women, on the other hand, they've been handed everything. So they believe that they are valuable just for existing, but they don't understand that they're, that clock, that time period is very small. And if they do not find someone, if they do not lock a man down within a specific period of time, build a family unit because a woman's a woman's the center of a woman's life should be her family because that will be her rock that will be how she will ultimately survive most women don't comprehend this because they are given so much when they are born they are basically born millionaires but they don't realize that eventually the charge card stops working the older they get the less the, the, the you know the lower the balance goes down the less they can charge to the card and eventually it stops working and, you know, it, it basically runs out and then they find themselves in massive amounts of debt with no one to help them and no one bailing them out. And this, the situation is basically people will say, well, you had all of this time and look how much you spent over the course of your life, you know, charging to that card. Look how much free you got. And you basically squandered it. And now you're saying that younger women should not be allowed to date older men and men should be focused on, you know, being virtuous and and being disciplined, but you were none of these things. And then you say, well, that doesn't matter because men are men and women are women. What the heck does that say? Wasn't it about equality? Wasn't that what feminism was all about? Or was it hypocrisy? Where women get special privileges and men get special punishments. Women are powerful victims and men are pathetic villains. Let's look at this comment. So this was on the video where I discussed, you know, men don't hit the wall. They simply climb over it. And someone responded, he goes more masculine. That is true. But does his resources really grow? It depends on you. The work you put in, the work, the work you put in this plenium 
I, I do not put in the work. So those men resources do not grow. But if you put in the work, it will grow. Naturally, definitely, because remember, men have to put in the work to gain resources. Women are born with their resources. This is not true. Women are not born with anything. Women are born. Women are not born with resources. They're born with a perception of value, which is linked to their youthfulness and fertility and their ability to produce children. Think about that very carefully. Corey says we are born with nothing. Adu says sometimes when you are born with wealth, power, and or resources, people settle and don't work as hard. But then we have another comment. And this comment is interesting because it's for me. And I basically pointed out what it actually is. Women are not born with resources. Women are born with the perception of value, while men, on the other hand, have to create their value over the course of their lives. This perception of value that women are born with allows them to accumulate resources without having to work for them when they are young. However, as their youth fades, so does their ability to acquire new resources simply for existing. This is a very, very important lesson that a lot of women simply don't comprehend because they're told that they're special, they're perfect, and a man will always be there for them. Men exist to serve. Women exist to be served and serve, to be served upon, uh, you know, to be waited upon. But now they're getting a massive dose of reality. And you're seeing the videos from women on social media where they're saying men need to shut up because they want to silence these men. They don't want these men talking anymore. They don't want these men discussing the subject anymore. They want these men to be quiet and they're going to great lengths to silence these men. Let's talk about men that play video games because I know it gets kind of controversial. Ladies, if you think that you're being controlling for not wanting your men to play video games as much as he does or if he gets upset at you because you want to spend time with him and he's choosing to play video games instead you have a right to be upset and your feelings are valid okay i know that there are worse things going on in this world but this is just one of those things that gives me the ick to be quite honest with you because the amount of guys that i see in the back of their girlfriend's videos while the girlfriend is like trying to do something cute or even with the kids or whatever and the husband is just vegged out playing video games like a child on the TV. I'm sorry. I think if you're a gamer and you guys do that as an activity together, it's different. If you're a gamer and you do it as an activity together, it's different. So uh, it's okay if a man and a woman, if the man plays video games with the woman, then that's acceptable. But if a man is playing video games by himself as a form of entertainment, distressing, and leisure, then that's a problem, and then it gives a woman the ick. So the ick is basically where they say they're disgusted. Like, for example, if a woman goes out on a date with a man and he doesn't want to pay for her Uber, that gives her the ick. Like, she is just like, he is so gross. That's a way of saying that the man is gross. Like, oh my gosh, that makes me just so grossed out. Like, this guy is gross. Those you agree, ladies? Like, like that guy just like it, it basically it's a it's a it's an extreme way of shaming men to say like they're dirty. Like, if you don't pay for a woman's stuff, you're a low value man, you're a dirty man, you don't have any, you know, you're the type of man that women should avoid. You're 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 nasty. That's what they're trying to say. That's what they mean by the ick. If you don't pay for their stuff. They give you, you, you know, if you don't pay for their what they want, if you don't give them what they want, you get you. They say that you give them the X. If you are sleeping, for example, women are putting up videos where they're saying, for example, if a man sees his wife sleeping, you know, he he's fine with it. But if she sees whenever they see a man sleeping, it just gives them the X. Watching their husband sleep gives them the X. Like guys, how little do you have to like someone to say that seeing them sleep? gives you the x because they view men as only utilities and machines like atms attention time money resources your job as a man is to work work and then work some more until you are no longer until you are no longer in this realm of existence like someone who's someone who actually loves you would not say that they would look over you lovingly realizing wow this person does so much for me i you know i love to see them get some rest because this person is so precious to me nope when when they see us sleep 
they you you give me the x you should be working or they see us playing video games and taking any time off or we're not doing anything that is not centered entirely around them or not engage with them oh you give me the x they don't seem to comprehend that going on the internet putting these videos out there trying to socially shame men and push other women who are even in relationships to shame the men in their lives to constantly being engaged in work or servitude are only pushing these men further away. Is it me or the PS5? Men are going to choose the PS5 night and day, day and night. Is it me or the Switch? It's always going to be the Switch. Is it me and the, it's, it's either me or the dog. It's going to be the dog. You have to remember though, women do not, their reasoning. See, this is where women, you know, they will change their tactics, but ultimately they will always, they will always fall to their feelings, all right. There, because if a man under to understand how a woman thinks, simply understand that a woman's a woman's ability to reason is based solely around her feelings. She can choose to use facts whenever she feels like it, but typically a woman is only loyal to her feelings. Wherever the wind blows, her feelings will go. So if she needs to make a decision, she's going to make her decision based on looking at how she feels about specific things, and then once she figures out which feelings are most valid, she's going to go with those feelings. Facts are irrelevant. So her ability to reason, her logic is socially, is so is, is completely based on feelings, not facts. So feelings replace facts and feelings are her set, are what guide her logic and her reasoning. So her ability to logic, her ability to use logic is solely based on her, on her feelings. Men, on the other hand, on the other hand, based their based their uh, their logic and their reasoning around facts, and this is the biggest difference. Women will, of course, of course, try to throw a man off sometimes by, you know, using facts, and what in re when in reality she's just is deceiving him because she is still basing everything on emotion. But she knows that if she allows him to realize that she's reasoning using her feelings, then he will avoid. So she'll basically use her fact. She'll basically try to use facts, you know, present an image that she's a rational person who uses facts to come to conclusions. And then once she has him, you know, once she has him locked in, then he's stuck and it will basically, everything is based on feelings. She'll do this and she'll switch between the two. She'll do this in a court of law. She'll use fat. She'll present facts when they are beneficial for her, beneficial to her. And, you know, it's, it's basically a form of gaslighting, but the reality is that she's operating entirely on feelings, but she'll create the perception that she's operating on facts when in reality, she is operating entirely on feelings. That is, it's, 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 it takes a long time for men to really comprehend these things. It took me decades to learn these things. I'm still learning more and more as I get older. You know how I learn so much? I learn a lot through suffering. Okay. I tell you, I'll tell you all something. Pain, they say like pain is one of the greatest teachers. Pain and suffering are some of the greatest teachers. But the saddest thing is that some men never learn. Some men never learn until it's too late, like until the very end, because some, you know, lifelong simps, lifetime simps, they would rather believe a lie than believe the truth because the lie is how they, it's, it's what keeps them going. It's what keeps them going. It's what keeps them waking up in the morning. They would rather believe the lie than believe the truth. Some men, on the, on the other hand, it takes a lot of suffering. And then finally, they're like, yeah, I don't want to suffer anymore. And then they accept the truth. And then they walk away or they go their own way and they say that they want to live separately. They want to live separately. They want to be separate. They don't want to have any more stress. And, and that's the reality. It's just the reality. These women want men to be quiet. They don't want men to speak anymore. You know, they're coming after the passport kings. It's unbelievable what's going on. Unbelievable what's going on, guys. And the thing is, women, they chose this for themselves. I did tell you that women would say, I told you women would say, feminism got us everything that we wanted, now let's fight it together. You know? I talked about the great V collapse that was coming, and you, you're, you're seeing it right now. You're seeing it right now. Guys, we're heading for a new depression, if not outright economic collapse. Massive economic class. This is in, it's at the very guys. Best case scenario, 
right now we're looking at a at a depression. Best case scenario. Best case scenario is a depression. And the longer that we that we BS it and we try to play with the numbers like the feds are doing, saying that, oh, there's tons of jobs for everyone, that we have one of the greatest economies, while no one can find jobs right now, while people are living off credit right now, you know, the more they gaslit gaslight society, the less people will trust in the in the figures that they're using to figure out economic activity and how well the economy is actually doing. The sad and ultimate truth is that more and more people are going to move away from these indicators. And ultimately, there's going to be nothing, you know, once trust is gone, it's hard to ever get it back. Guys, this is really the end for so many different things. For one, it's the end of it's the end of the of the dollar. It's 100 percent the end of the dollar because there's no way of paying it back. The feds are literally saying that this is an on this is an on uh, the amount of debt that the U.S. has right now is uh, is something that they cannot handle. Like, you know, for example, let's see if we can show you this. The feds, like Jerome Powell, he's uh, he's been talking about this. Like, you know, Fed Chair Powell, the U.S. is the U.S. is running a very large deficit at a time when we're at full employment. Look at this: a very large deficit. When we're at full employment, how does that make any sense? Okay. We're not able to pay our bills. This is crazy. This is crazy. It's all fairy tales right now. It's all lies. We're all being gaslit. And the longer it takes for the economy to correct itself, the worse it's going to be. And it's gone way too long. It's going to hurt. It's going to hurt bad. Guys, you're, this is when you're going to witness people rushing away from the dollar, jumping into gold and silver at, at, at all-time highs over the last – at 50-year highs. People dumping money into Bitcoin and trying to buy Bitcoin to survive and pay their bills in Bitcoin and crypto. This is when you're going to see an absolutely devastating society and reality. But the crazy thing is the men who've walked away – they're okay because they've already learned how to survive outside of this. They've learned how to di diversify. They've learned how to live far below their means. A lot of the millionaires right now, even if they lost the millionaires that are living far below their means that are on my channel, even if they lost every dime of their money right now, they would be fine because they know how to live below their means. They know how to survive with very little. So they would not only would they survive, they would thrive because they have experience. What do you guys think regarding all of this? Women are demanding that men going their own way be silenced. Let me know your thoughts and we'll talk about it in the comments. Like the video if you like it. Don't forget to subscribe. And if you like the video, share the video. And just remember that all roads lead to MWA, men walking away, and cheers.